Good evening. The word of the day is cul-de-sac. One of my former students, and I guess he's a friend of mine now, has a connection with a fellow who does some tree work. He told this man that we needed some logs, and the man said, well, I'm cutting down some big pine trees. And he said, I'll even pay you to haul the trunks away. So my friend said, I'll haul them away. I got somebody that can use them. So then he calls me and said, it sure would be nice if you'd take your tractor over there with that grapple on it. This is the same guy who took me to grapple with the bull, by the way. If you take your tractor over there with the grapple and load those logs, then I won't have to take my roll back over there and drag the logs up on it with the cable. You just load them up and we'll haul them back to your place and you can saw them up. He said, I'll even pay you something. I said, okay, that sounds like a good idea. He had already went over there and got four big logs and brought them to me. So I thought, well, those are really nice logs. I'll go help him get the rest of them. So we got over there, and he can't go till he gets off from work, and you know the time has changed. So now it was dark by the time we get there. So we're over there in the dark out on this street. I drive down to the end of it, and I've been down there several years ago, and I knew there was a cul-de-sac at the end. I don't know why they call it a cul-de-sac. I don't know if that's some foreign language for go around a circle or what. But I was thinking, okay, we can go around this cul-de-sac. If we're lucky, we can get turned around, pull up on the edge of the road, unload the tractor. He can pull in behind me and load up his truck. But guess what? Somebody that lived down there decided that the best place to park their truck, and they were nowhere to be found or seen, was in the cul-de-sac, which made it impossible for me to circle around pulling the trailer that I was hauling the tractor on. So guess what we had to do? We had to back the truck and the trailer with the tractor on it after we got the logs loaded, back up the road about a quarter of a mile to a side road that we could back down into to turn around. I don't know how this fellow gets me into all these situations. He took me to grapple with the bull. Now he took me to grapple with the cul-de-sac. What should have been a 10 or 15 minute job ended up being about 45 minutes or an hour. And most of that time was spent backing out of the cul-de-sac. If you live on a cul-de-sac, please don't park your vehicles around it if you expect people to turn around. I hope you don't get caught on a cul-de-sac, and I hope that you have a great day.